Okay, so I'm going to talk about my Bergman speed hitch here a little bit. I know some people don't like them, like the European guys, but that's okay because here in the United States, we very rarely use something like this on a tractor. But when we do use something like this on a tractor, we generally do something like that. At least, that's what I do. Now, if I was using the 7530, I would put the hook on it and grab the tongue with that. But the 7530, I'm not using it on this today. We're using the 7810. Um, but that is what this style of, of trailer would require, something like that or the hook. And Mr. Tim, the big blue Smurf, is going to go. You're going to go down there, right? I'll be right behind you. Okay, so with that noise being done, all right, so I actually have bought another one of these hitches, and if you don't know where to get this hitch, it's really simple. You go to the Bergman Speed Hitch uh, website, Bergman Speed Hitch. It is made in the United States. This is a forged, this is a forged piece of uh, metal put together. It is tough. I mean, it is pretty damn tough. And you just bolt it on there, run your cable. I use these wire ties because if you do want to take it off, you just cut the wire ties, pull the cable out that way, and boom, you're good. So if it does by accident, you back up and hit something and miss and it closes like that, you just do one of these deals. Give it a, a quick jerk. Ready? Watch. You see that? Doesn't even have to be a quick jerk, but enough, to, just enough to get it past there and it flops open and that will grab then you can back up and I'll demonstrate that in a little bit I have been using these things now for about what three weeks I was using it on the 8530 which was hooked to this hooked to the baler now so I took it off and it sits here in the shop so I have one on the 7530 and of course the uh, 8530 is sitting or I got one on the 7810 and this one here will just be used pretty much primarily in the winter time when I'm pulling a lot of stuff around when the 8530 is not hooked to the uh, the Crone Big Pack, which is fixed by the way. Anyway, uh, I am going to do some modifications to this uh, for the simple reason I think that this cable system, not that there's anything wrong with the cable system, it works just fine. I mean you just give it a tug and that's it. Even though it won't get caught in here because I've got it fastened up top there, there's really nothing for it to get caught in you know and it's not like you're running PTO stuff with it uh, off of the back of the tractor so but anyways it attaches and detaches very excuse me it attaches and detaches very easily from your drawbar in about five minutes I can have that off there and stowed nicely in the shop so it doesn't get lost they're not that expensive everybody's like oh my god for the amount of money well get in and out of that tractor 15 20 times a day just to put a pin in or probably if you counted how many times you got in and out of a tractor like this just to put a hitch pin in, hook it up, misalign it, get back in, get back out. Sometimes you get in and out three or four times. Whereas this thing here, you just back up and you're latched and you go. There's nothing else to do. Uh, really enjoy this. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to back this up to the uh, wagon that I'm about to get and uh, we're going to get to work. Okay, so this is how simple this is. You can see I've got a little cable here. It reaches down to that. Pull that thing out. Let me put myself into gear here. Put myself into gear. Boom. Hitches down. Now I'm going to go over to the next, the next one, which is simple. Because she's loading up Joe with the other wagon, the other trailer. And we're just going to back up here very gently. You don't even have to see what in the hell you're doing. It could be any old angle. Boom. There it is. I'm hooked. That's how simple the Bergman speed hitch is. I mean, you just back up, it's locked. There's no, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. It works. It works very well. So, okay, so now I've used this hitch on this tractor. Right, Joe? Right. Have you used this hitch yet? I have not. Uh, we need to get Joe acclimated to this hitch. Yeah, right? these things work really, really good. I have, I, 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 you know, the only thing I can say about it is I'm a fool for not buying it sooner. 
really. So much easier. I spit my gum. Nobody likes to hear the gum chewing. So much easier to deal with with this type of wagon. I know the guys over in the in England and the UK or wherever you guys are that have the hook type or pintle type uh, pickup hitches. These are totally different than that and I did that American versus England UK video and got a lot of response and a lot of guys upset that well I'd like to see that piece of shit pick up a 14 ton trailer. Well I think the weight limit of it is something like 400 pounds. They're not designed to pick stuff up. They're only designed to pull. Uh, they pick up the tongue, it latches the tongue, and then it pulls the tongue. These are what you guys would call a fifth wheel, uh, a fifth wheel trailer or wagon. We call them wagons. Um, where you know they have, they're t they got tie rods and all that stuff. You sign out already? Yep. You on your way home? Yes. Uh, just wait a second. Anyways, the uh, the uh, they won't work on the style that Joe was using today. These will not work on that. They're just not designed to take the weight. Um, will they take the weight? Probably. I mean, the things are pretty damn slick. I mean, that's it, man. That's it. It's locked in. Um, I think there's a little room for improvement on the on the cable side of it. Um, not really that it needs room for improvement. It works and functions wonderfully great, and they'll last for a very, very long time. What I'm saying is I think that it'd be easier with some form of a hydraulic cylinder whether the hydraulic cylinder is attached to the uh, the cable or whatnot or something I think that that would probably be easier on the operator uh, my dad's shoulder is quite sore today from using the one on the 7410 yesterday and the day before because he's a he's 70 years old and has rotor cuff issues and B he has uh, pulled hasn't pulled that thing in that direction with his arm ever and he is kind of sore but for the most part I really love these hitches I think they're great and I'll leave a link in the description below and you can go crash their website again like you did a couple weeks ago anyways thanks for watching